Hello, and welcome to RealPAR's Beginner PLC course, PLC Programming from Scratch 5, Beginner PLC Programming Challenges. This is the fifth course in a series that is packed with practical hands-on lessons about PLC programming. In this part of the series, you will apply what you have learned about PLC programming so far to solve a set of PLC programming challenges. After completing the course, you will be confident in your ability to apply your PLC programming skills to solve real-world problems and be ready to extend and modify small projects on your own. By the end of the course, you will have proven yourself to be a confident, competent PLC programmer. Although this course is designed for beginners, it is not designed for complete beginners. This is the fifth course in the PLC Programming from Scratch series. If you haven't already, I highly recommend that you follow PLC Programming from Scratch 1, 2, 3, and 4 before following this course. In PLC Programming from Scratch 1, we learned some foundational information about PLCs in general and Micro 800 PLCs specifically. In PLC Programming from Scratch 2, we learned how to write simple PLC programs using variables and bit instructions. In PLC Programming from Scratch 3, we learned how to download a project to a simulated PLC and test the project by monitoring application logic and modifying the values of variables in the simulated PLC. In PLC Programming from Scratch 4, we learned how to test a PLC project by connecting the running project to a digital twin of a physical process using factory I.O. Although you don't need to follow PLC programming from scratch 1, 2, 3, and 4 before following this course, it may help you to more easily understand the problems presented in this course. Now that we have an overview of the course, let's take a closer look at the course curriculum and what exactly we will learn in PLC Programming from Scratch 5, Beginner PLC Programming Challenges. We'll do that in the next lesson. Before moving on, I want to point out that the starting project for this course is available to download in the description of this video. If you followed the previous courses, I recommend that you download and use this project to make sure that we have an identical starting point. 